My name is Dan Stewart, one of the Siemens product specialists at e &M. The topic for today is ET200AL integration into TI Portal. Let's look at a couple of different ways to connect ET200AL to an S7-1200 system. The first way, if you have an ET200 SP system connected to the CPU, would be to directly connect to the ET200AL modules via a station expansion interface. This allows for up to 16 ET200AL devices to connect to the drop. The station expansion interface acts as the ET200 interface to the system. ET200AL modules look like I.O. directly connected to the ET200 SP. The second way is to connect the ET200 AL is via an interface module connected to the S7-1200. All the modules look like slots on the interface drop. Using this method, up to 32 modules can be attached to the drop. The interface acts as the ET200 AL interface to the system. If an IO link master or masters are one of the drops on either method, up to four IO link devices can be connected to each master, allowing for additional system expansion. Let's go into TI Portal and configure the ET200 SP station. Connect the S7-1200 to the ET200 SP. Select ET200 SP and then click on Device View. To connect the ET200 AL system to SP, I will now add a station expansion. Now I will select the first ex station expansion IO slot and then expand the ET200 AL catalog and double click on the 16 point DI and then the 8 point DQ. Expand the properties section of the lower part of the screen. Since the 8 point DQ was the last item I had, the properties shown are from that item. Go to Output Diagnostics, enable No Supply Voltage, Short Circuit to Ground. These alarms will automatically show up in the diagnostic status. After we're done, we save and download to the PLC. In this video, I've shown you how to connect the ET200AL interface directly to a Siemens CPU as a Profinet drop. The ET200AL interface is also available in a multi-field bus version which can be used to connect to other PLCs using Ethernet IP or Modbus TCP, further expanding its capabilities. I hope you have found this video to be helpful.